a story with a supreme ruling. A woman nursing officer, Lieutenant Selena John, was terminated from the military nursing service. Why? Well, the concerned order dispensed with her services without serving any show cause notice or opportunity of hearing or opportunity to defend her cause. Now, besides this, the order also showed that she was released on the grounds of marriage. Now, at this lend, led, beg your pardon, to a 26-year-old long legal battle, which has now come to an end. Now, the Supreme Court ordered that the centre pay 60 lakh rupees in compensation. Importantly, the Apex Court said the acceptance of such a patriarchal rule undermines human dignity, right to non-discrimination and fair treatment. Now, laws and regulations based on gender-based bias are constitutionally impossible, per permissible, beg your pardon. Now, the division bench of Justices Sanjeev Khanna and Dipankar Datta also reiterated that rules on the basis of which such women officers were terminated because of their marriage are unconstitutional. My colleague Harish joins me for the latest. Harish, very good morning to you. This is a significant development in terms of what has been ruled, but this is taking in a really long time for justice to come through. Yes, that's right. Uh, it's a culmination of a 26-year-old legal battle and in a significant landmark judgment, the Supreme Court has said uh, that uh, marriage as a woman cannot be a ground for disentitlement and such a rule is unconstitutional, arbitrary and discriminatory. And uh, the Supreme Court said in this case of a woman nursing officer, uh, Selena John, uh, who was uh, terminated uh, on the ground that she had married uh, while she was a lieutenant. And uh, as per the weird rule cited by the uh, army is that as per the terms and conditions of permanent commission for uh, women nursing officers, there are three grounds. One, misconduct. Uh, medically unfit and marriage. Uh, so on this ground, she was uh, uh, in fact removed from the service and Supreme Court has said, uh, called it very discriminatory and said that this is a coarse case of gender discrimination, inequality, undermining the dignity of a person and also undermining the uh, right to free treatment. Uh, free treatment. So a uh, very significant observation made by the Supreme Court and in a very significant direction calculated her, her salary from uh, what she would have got if she was in service. Remember, she was uh, sacked in 1988. From 88 to 90, uh, 2024, her salary was calculated and the compensation was fixed at rupees uh, 60 lakh. Uh, the Supreme Court has, uh, in fact, come down heavily on the centre uh, on the, regarding framing such rules, though, uh, in fact, the Supreme Court was also inclined to quash such a rule which made marriage as a ground, but the centre and the army told the Supreme Court that that rule has already been withdrawn in uh, 1995. So, Supreme Court has right, very Harish. clearly said that marriage cannot be a ground I have to interject you there, but thank you very much for telling us what the top court has said and essentially drawing perspective as to how this is a legal battle that has fi finally found some light at the end of the tunnel. We're going to leave it.